Okay, hi guys. We are doing our negative space scissors exercise today. I think it's 5.1. Should be the one right after your foreshortened hand. So here is the outcome of what you should have. Something similar, something along the lines of what I have here. Um, how I created this was I took a pair of scissors and I adjusted them to the amount of open that I wanted them um, and when I you know wanted them to stop at this uh, mark I took a piece of tape and wrapped it around half of the edge so it wouldn't move past that tape um, just for your information these scissors open all of the way so you could use the scissors in this um, as extended as this um, you could also use the scissors in a closed format. Um, so it's up to you. Um, I thought it would look cool if they were open a little bit, but if you have a vision for a design with closed scissors or, or completely open scissors, then please don't hesitate. Um, and so when I created this, I essentially just overlapped all of my shapes and I traced each one with a pencil first so I'll just show you on here. Um, if you want, you can design this any way you want. You can compose a composition that has symmetry, meaning it's, if it's split in half, it looks the same on both sides. And you could do that by, you know, flipping your scissor. Um, I'll move this over. Flipping your scissor over like this and tracing it both times and maybe, you know, flipping it on its side this way. So. However you want to do it is fine. I kind of randomly overlapped them um, in ways that filled the space equally, right? So the there's an equal amount of black and white space, roughly, um, and we call that positive and negative space. So the positive space is the stuff that I drew. The negative space it is, is what's around um, those drawings. So you want to trace your scissors. Um, I will... Uh, and, and you can also leave some of the scissors off the page so it overlaps that edge there. Kind of makes it interesting. Um, so tracing this, and you just have to be careful because these scissors will move on you as you trace. So um, unless you have them closed, of course, or open all the way. Um, so you just have to be really gentle, keep them in the same position as you start. Oh, I moved it. So this isn't perfect, um, but it's a good example of what can happen. And I'm just going to fill that in. And when I fill it in with my color, it will cover it. Um, but if I wanted to, I could erase some of this line. Um, and then I'll overlap. Maybe I'll go this way. And so the reason you're doing this exercise is exactly what I was explaining before. You should be experimenting with positive and negative space and recognizing how to create a balanced composition um, with equal parts of positive and negative space. So if I left my composition like this, there would not be an equal amount of positive and negative space. There would be less positive and more negative space, which, you know, you could make an interesting composition like that, but um, for the purpose of this exercise, just add enough scissor uh, tracings to complete the space. So maybe if I trace my scissor like this and then, you know, put just the handle in over here and then just the um, handle in over here, right? So that would complete my composition. So you're aiming, you want to aim to have at least five parts of your scissor traced, okay? So five either whole scissors or partial scissors traced. Once you have a an entire composition like you see here, um, you will take a marker of some kind or colored pencil and you're just going to color right over all of the lines that you have, right? So you're going to connect all of the scissors so they become one giant shape. And 
and of course you want to go slow unlike what I'm doing because you want to stay in the lines and keep your shapes crisp and even unlike me I'm rushing right now but and you want to be careful not to smudge your marker of course okay notice how I'm filling in all of my shape remember when I taught you how to ugh, darn Okay, remember when I taught you how to color and I said not to leave any white space? That's exactly what I want you to do here. Um, don't leave any white marks. You want this to be a nice solid shape. So I'm not going to finish this um, on camera, but you have my example here and you have a photo of it um, as an example. So please have fun with it, get creative. Um, if you want to go above and beyond and get that extra point, um, you can fill in this space with patterns. Like if you finish early and everyone else is still a little bit behind, you can fill in this with, um, fill in this negative space with maybe some um, line patterns, um, words, right? Something interesting. What could you do with this po this negative space? All right. Again, that's not required. That's only if you're done early and you'd like to earn an extra point on your work. All right. So have fun with it, and I can't wait to see what you create.